For a long time, it's been politically dangerous to challenge the idea that lower taxes are the key to economic growth. Even since the Reagan era, the American people have heard the mantra over and over. Tax cuts stimulate the economy, create growth, and leave everyone better off. Since no one loves paying taxes, that theory was easily accepted as fact. But a growing body of research now shows that artificially low taxes not only fail to stimulate the economy, they also do real damage to our future prospects as a nation. They can slow economic growth, impede innovation, and leave a majority of people worse off. Without an adequate tax base, we lack adequate public resources to invest in the type of economic development and infrastructure projects that could begin to grow our economy and benefit everyone. Why do I care? Because I'm a teacher and I know that public education is the single most effective investment we can make. America is no longer primarily an agricultural or industrial nation. In the new knowledge-based economy, we compete for jobs with the rest of the world. Our future prosperity depends on our ability to train a workforce that will thrive in that labor market. We can do that by investing heavily in education and its infrastructure, facilities, curriculum, and people. The any tax cut is a good tax cut crowd has had its way in long enough. It's time to return to a policy of thoughtful, targeted public investment that leads to shared benefits and a brighter future for us all.